So uh, next up is uh, Mr. Hank Imhoff. This will be his second appearance on our little project here. And uh, Hank's a finger picking blues player extraordinaire. Are you ready to go, Hank? Yep. Yeah, sounds good. All right. You're in the spotlight, buddy. Let's hear it. Oh, boy. Pressure's on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's so good to be back here um, and to see Nate. Um, I, we all, I just love Nate. He's a great guy. And I was glad to see he was on tonight. And we got to get together real soon, Nate. Um, Pete, everybody, I used to go over to the grotto and see Chad and Nate and everybody. So I kind of miss doing that also. And uh, I got to thank Rocky and Kathy and the Blues Society here. Um, but what a great organization. Um, uh, Jereen and John Dovetail, good friends. Uh, I just love the music they do. And uh, I got a song for the uh, Louisiana guy a little bit later. So uh, uh, you'll, I'll, I'll give you a heads up where that's at. So we're in real strange times and um, there have been strange times and hard times before. And um, I've been in the basement just working on Robert Johnson stuff. And I always thought um, Robert Johnson's blues were like very energetic and, and they do have an energy, but uh, all of a sudden reading and studying it's uh, not being able to go everywhere you want, um, maybe being short of food, uh, uh, maybe having the man come down on you. Um, his songs have kind of taken on a different meaning. And uh, I heard most of my first interpretations of uh, Robert Johnson, probably through all the English groups, um, Eric Clapton and Cream and... Um, so anyway, we're just going to take a step back in time. Uh, his recordings were from 1936-37. Um, he did two, uh, two vinyls, um, I think in two or three different days. And, um, so quite a story. Um, this goes back, uh, all this stuff comes out of Charlie Patton and Johnny Shines and Robert Lockwood Jr. and um, Sun House, uh, Roosevelt Sykes, there's so many more, a lot of great women uh, from this era. But you got to remember um, the Depression was we're in the middle of it. And um, at this time, Germany was starting to get a little crazy, 36, 37, 38. Uh, Robert Johnson had died. Anyway, these are some hard time songs, and uh, hope you enjoy them. And we're just going to ease through this. So here we go. Thank you. 
and ride the blinds Sick and disgusted Honey, I don't mind dying Leave this morning Oh, woman feel <laughs> some of the dark undertones there. <clears throat> so I'm going to commit musical suicide here and uh, pick up a harmonica after Nate Myers has left uh, the house here. I, I see he's still listening. <clears throat> this is this real fancy rack. And Nate, you made fun of me. <clears throat> I always broke all my other racks that I used for harmonica. Actually, it was an emergency, and this was the only one <laughs> that Music Center had, so, uh, or Guitar Center, so it served me well. But uh, I need some lessons, Nate. So uh, I threw this in in the middle here between a Robert Johnson song. And uh, this is uh, by some boys from down in Texas. And it's about uh, taking a trip from New Orleans. I never know how to get these things started, but we'll have some fun. Chicago 
Song? So, uh, ZZ Top, right? <laughs> oh, ZZ Top. Some guys from Texas. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a good friend of mine who passed away a couple years, he was a real blues aficionado. And his name was John Kelly, also. And he was from uh, Indiana, Pennsylvania. And uh, he studied with Ernie Hawkins. Or another a great, great, still living blues musician right now, and I was out visiting him, visiting him, and and uh, John would do all these great old songs, note for note. And he said, "Listen to this," because I got to work that out. That's that's a great song. So I I kind of stole that from another John Kelly. I think we're pretty close. Uh, so the next song has been a challenge to me <clears throat> for many, many, many years. And I've heard many versions. Wasn't sure how I wanted to do this. And I don't know, Rocky and Nate and all the music musicians tonight will probably tell you that you learn a song and you do it for many years and then it kind of starts to take its own shape inside your inside your being and your soul. It, uh, it takes on all those qualities. 
Uh, this one isn't there quite yet, but I was real pleased uh, after spending a bunch of time in the hair in the basement. Well, give this a try. First time I've ever done it for anybody. So, and uh, it is the iconic Crossroad uh, by Robert Johnson. Uh, again, I, I looked at uh, Robert Johnson's uh, box set today, and he's given credit for writing all these songs. But you'll listen to um, Sun, Sun House or Johnny Shines or um, just Charlie Patton, any of those people, and, and they all pick verses and everything out. And I was thinking, you know, I wrote out words for all this, and I don't know if you ever do this too, uh, today I was like, did um, Robert Johnson have a little notebook and a pencil that he could write lyrics or did he just remember them off the top of his head? And uh, I don't know, but it's, it's interesting. Um, again, this is a song, um, and in those days, if uh, you were black and out on the highway, um, and it, the sun was going down, it was getting dark. Uh, there were places that you couldn't be and you needed to get up off the road. The police or the Ku Klux Klan, um, which usually the policemen were the Ku Klux Klan, uh, would be out looking and it, um, it could be very desperate and dire. So there were safe houses and safe routes and, and, um, this song's about about that, and uh, again, we'll we'll give this a try. See if I can remember it all.
Blues by Robert Johnson. Wonderful. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Again, Rocky, man, thank you so much, and Kath. Well, this thank you, Hank. Fun. Really, a uh, history lesson for us tonight. Really appreciate it. It's, it's really interesting to see these songs, uh, hear these songs in context of the times, you know, especially relating to the fact that we're, we're hitting a bumpy patch right now ourselves, so. Uh, kind of brings it all home. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it went. I'm glad you liked it. So I hope you did. I did. Loved it. Good.